Well, winter is coming, and that means we're getting close to the Wheatland Football League playoffs. The Lloyd Comp Barons have had a respectable start to the season going 5-1. and one. Now, this afternoon, they were playing an exhibition game against the Cold Lake Royals and took the chance to work out some kinks. Now, in the second quarter, Royals with possession. Nice little pass, but Noah Mather takes him down. Next play, Royals kick it to the Barons. Major kick. Wish we could do some vertical yardage on that one. Chase Guess, boom, boom. He grabs it and he goes. Solid 15 rushing yards for the Barons. Next play, hands it off to Rob Poole, and he is off. Barons are now up 7-0. Royals try and respond, but Liam Garrison can't get out of the pocket as Remy Klink takes him down, and Evan Angelo needs an extra bounce, but he gets her. And this field goal here would give the Barons a 13-zip lead at half. Now, Barons take the exhibition game the Royals uh, against the Royals 22-10 and get some momentum heading into the Wheatland playoffs. They start up next weekend, and Barons will be facing the Bonneville Voyagers here in Lloydminster. Game at this point is set for Saturday, but it is subject to change. Now, switching to a sport where it's winter all the time, it's been a tough start for the Alberta Major Bantam Hockey League for most heat. After winning the Alberta Crown last year, but only returning one player from that team, the unit was hoping they'd finally worked out the kinks and could get rolling for their game this afternoon versus the number one Sherwood Park United Cycle Flyers. Now, it was back and forth in the first, so we're picking things up in the second. Heat have a five on three, and Chase Waters fires in on that, and Matthew Morebutter Gives it more butter, greases it in, little trash talk too. Now five into the third, Sherwood Park doesn't want to let this one slide away. So Nick Bowman, he cranks it, top shelf, and the game is tied up again. But a minute later, Easton Haygarth with a beauty of a pass to Casey Olson, and Caius Quist finishes it off. Now with six left in the third, Casey Olson feeds it to Landon Johnson, and Heat go up by two. Sherwood Park, though, I guess this is why they're number one. They're not letting the pressure get to them. Nathan Carl to Jordan Byro, only down by one now with just a minute left. Now, Heat, though, get a breakaway, but can't quite net it as Nathan Ray makes one of his 20 saves. Didn't matter either way. Heat are pumped about this win. Heat goalie Ross Harriluck also made 22 saves in the win. Now this is a major victory for the Heat as they've been struggling to find consistency with their new team. But as Coach Oliphant explains, his team he wants his team to maintain their composure. In any hockey, any sport, you can't get too high or too low. So hopefully these guys are young. They got to learn not to be too high and then take the win and build off it for the next time. We've been practicing all week in order to do the small things right. So we executed today and our result ended up in a big win against one of the better teams. So it feels good when you're in a slump and then you beat one of the better teams. Oh, I think we went out pretty hard. We, we were struggling a bit in the first, but I think we picked her up in the second and third and bared down. The boys played pretty good though. Now look at this AJHL matchup tonight. 8-5-1, 7-5-1. Both teams have 17 points. Both teams are hungry for more. Bobcats news pickup Kevin Durar has been hot as of late. Definitely a game we're tuning into. Puck drop is at 7 p.m. though in Sherwood Park. The men's and women's wrestlers basketball teams got underway last night in Edmonton against Concordia University. Now, the men fell short 81-78, but maybe home gym will give them a narrow edge as they play them tonight again at 8 o'clock. On the women's side of things, though, they won their first game by a respectable 13 points, 69-56, and they are currently just getting underway at Lakeland Gym. If you hurry, you can catch them before halftime and check out those new stands. 